Hello and welcome to the Black Hat Bushcraft Channel. Today I wanted to share with you a quick tip on how you can protect your cutting edges when you're working in your camp by utilizing a simple improvised wooden anvil. Stick with me and I'll show you how it works. Let's say I wanted to process down a piece of fat wood by scraping it with the spine of my knife. And that does a really nice job of creating a fine tinder that I can ignite with a ferro rod. A lot of times I see people do this, and I've been guilty of it myself, scraping and collecting your material on a big leaf like this. But when you go to move that leaf, it's easy to spill it. And while you're scraping your fat wood, you have to keep it up off the ground and use the knife and the fat wood at the same time together, which is not a bad technique, but it seems to me to be easier if you just have a wooden anvil like this and you can plant that fat wood right down into that piece of wood here on the ground and then just scrape. And the nice thing about that is you have a solid surface that collects your shavings. So when you get ready to collect that material and utilize it, it's all right there for you. And it makes the process just much easier and more convenient with that material collected that way. Another case where having an anvil is really helpful is anytime you want to baton through material. Let's say I want to process down this piece of dry tulip poplar, maybe to make a one stick fire, or maybe I'm trying to uh, baton in so I can make feather sticks or carve a spoon or spatula or whatever. Having that anvil on the ground makes this so much easier, A, because the wood is being pounded against a solid surface rather than going into the wet ground. And B, when I go through that, if my ax should hit, it will hit a piece of wood rather than hitting the ground and therefore keeping my edge sharp and protected for the long haul. Some people may find that having an anvil helps them to make better feather sticks when you have a stable surface to plant that material down, and that way it's easy to maintain your angle as you're carving those fine feathers. It also has that surface, once again, to catch any material that might fall off of your feather stick and keep it up off the wet ground. One other really nice way to create an anvil or a cutting surface is to take two logs. These are about 12 to 14 inches in length and probably two inches, maybe three inches in diameter. You just take two of them and lay them here together, just like this. And I've cut four stakes here and I'm just gonna use my maul to tap those into the ground right on the corners. And they don't really have to go in too far just enough to brace everything in place. Now I push the other log up tight against those stakes. Come in here, kind of wedging them in tight. Grab that right in. One more corner. Now, what I did was baton a nice piece of dry tulip poplar in half, and that can sit right here on these two logs. That makes a nice stable cutting surface, especially if you're processing down like food, cutting up vegetables or meat or something. It gives you a nice clean place to do that type of work. Or it's just another way to create a little bit higher up off the ground or longer anvil that you can work with. All right, hopefully you guys could see that it's very simple to create a wooden anvil in your camp that you can use to process materials on. Whether it be something small in diameter like this piece, which could easily be cut with a folding saw, or something larger in diameter like this one, which I actually cut using a folding buck saw. Or if you like this method with the two logs and the half log, which gives you more of a cutting board type surface. The most important thing is just that you use some type of anvil when you're working with your ax or your knife and keep those blades out of the dirt. Obviously as a woodsman or a bushcrafter, our tools like our ax and our knife are our most important resources that we carry with us. So protect those edges, use an anvil. Hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up if you will. 
I hope you'll subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and I look forward to talking to you with another video as soon as possible. Until then, take care and God bless.